You should have my title on here. Hi, I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. My family has been blessed to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Morning, windmill. Morning. We are back to the fields here. Quad track's got a air filter light on it. They need to pull those out. So we got them pulled here. We're gonna blow a combine filter as well. We're at it too. Haven't done that yet this year. And uh, get it fueled up so we can go uh, get some more wheat cut today. Combines are getting their COVID masks blown out. And breathe clean again. Come on up, Luke. Grab my hand. How are you guys? Good. Are you excited, Luke? What are you in, Luke? Are we in the tractor? Hey. Can I get some nuts? Nuts. This app's so good. Even a kid can use it. Luke, you want to help me? Can you press the green button? Press the green button. Can you press the send truck? Mm -hmm. Easy as that. Yes. Mr. Luke, I like your farm shirt. We need to get you a fast ag one though, it's the wrong colors. Yeah. Links in the description. Sorry, Brad, Jory, for using your son for an advertisement. But how, how can you not use that? Put it away. Is that your face? No, oh, it's my, it, it's my mouth. It's your mouth. What truck are we dumping in? What color is that truck? Is it white? Is that the white truck? Yeah. You said it. The white truck. Well, we've just been cruising right along today. Almost got a 300 acre field done. We got a little bit of soft fly on this field and soft fly is a little fly that will lay its eggs in the stems of the wheat. When that egg hatches, it will chew its way through the stem, causing the stems to fall over. You can see down there how many heads were down there yet. We're probably leaving a couple to maybe five bushels. So I got my header really low, got the reel spinning really fast, trying to lift that back up. We're getting most of it, but we don't want to pick up rocks either to throw them in the combine. So kind of just taking our time and letting that reel do its thing and pick up whatever we can. We could put crop lifters on, but these headers aren't set up with the attachments for those to do that. So we are hopefully about done with the soft line mess and then we don't have to worry about it anymore. But one more field of this variety, and then the rest of the wheat is a different variety. So we'll see uh, how that other variety stands up to the soft flies better than this one.
Time to fuel up combines and other things. All right, we are all serviced up and back in the combines and the yields are going up. Oh, like it. I like it a lot. Really nice wheat. Mid 50s now on average. So best spring wheat we've cut so far. We had some Durham run better than this, but uh, for the wheat, this, one, this is working. Uh, maintenance this morning, did some chain tightening, blew out some radiators, blew off just some dust off of everything. <coughs> oh man. And today is supposed to be a pretty windy day, so no fires. No fires. This might just be my straightest bag of the year. And I'm pretty proud. Look at that, look at that. Look how pretty this bag is. Here comes Kevin. Better get the tractor started. We finished the grain bag on this field, but instead of starting a new grain bag, so there's just a little bit of this field in a grain bag, we're gonna take some loads to the elevator. I've never seen piles of grain that big before. That's a lot of grain. I get to dump on it. That's what I'm talking about. That's a heck of a conveyor. Just waiting to be filled. So nice. Canola is so slow. Get a little downtime. Nothing wrong with that. Here comes Kevin. I think he's gonna fill the truck. Yep. Dumping a little canola in the truck, but man, you can't get much better scenery than that sunset. That's pretty. The nice thing about canola is it's also quiet, really quiet. I know this camera doesn't do justice of how pretty the sunset is, but it just keeps getting better and better as time goes on. It's really pretty and it really makes this truck look really good. Like, look at it. Well, morning. It is, uh, morning, Wednesday. 
So from the Colin and Kevin cam yesterday, we are cutting canola up north. It's like a 25, 30 mile haul back to the farm here. We're dumping canola in two of those bins. We have uh, Lucy, I'm recording. <sighs> Crazy dog. We need to save one of those three empty bins here yet for hemp. So we'll fill two bins here with canola, two bins over north of Nasha for canola. And then we'll probably end up bagging all the wheat. Actually, we do have a flat bottom bin here. I don't want to put canola in that we can put wheat in, but getting close. Don't harvest. Them. That's a lie. It's almost 4,000 acres left. Good to see they're finally holding their own around this place. How many yesterday? Seven? Seven. Two this morning early. Mm -hmm. Only about a thousand more and you'll behave for yourselves. Back at it this morning. We were talking about how hard canola is to thrash with the stock. You can see like they're pretty big. Like that's a lot of material to to be cutting, especially when they're like, you know, this tall off the ground. It's a lot of material. That's why they gotta go slow. Back combining. Just got a high wind warning on my phone from the weather app. I have no idea how windy it has to be to make one of those, but not what we want to see with fragile little seed pods bouncing around in the wind. They can pop open, shell out on the ground. So yeah, and fire in danger. Imagine what fire in danger does with 40 mile an hour gusts. Luckily, we are cutting in canola stubble and there's really nothing to burn once the canola crop is off. It would be really hard to get something to burn there anyways. But uh, we're going. They're unloading right there. What to expect? Northwest winds, 30 to 40 mile per hour with gusts of 50 to 60 expected. Well, that sounds fun. I should have brought my kite along here. Since the wind's blowing so hard now, we've got the uh, auger swung back a little ways, dumping with our spout tipped all the way down. So it's not so high up above the cart. You can almost see it's really light. Wind likes to blow it around. This way, it all gets into the cart. This wind is getting bad. A few sprinkles in the area, which actually would do us a lot of good if it would start raining. Soften everything up, we quit combining. We can, you probably can't, I know you can't see it, but there's white pods out there. That's actually the middle membrane in the center of the pod that, because the pods popped open and the seeds fell on the ground already. Super windy, so we're using the grain cart to kind of protect the tarp. They're on tarp it, and hopefully it stays still on the trailer. She's a little windy today. Man, gotta hold the tarps down so they don't blow away. But man, is it windy. Woo! Just found this out in our field. Anybody know what this is? It comes with an orange parachute and a balloon. This is what the weather service uh, sends up from town from the National Weather Service office and it has some sensors and they can get some other weather info. I think they do two a day. At least one a day. I know they do in the evenings. But we fly a few of these a year and uh, they like us to mail them back. Except I think I drove over this one. I'm not sure if this one's going to work anymore or not. So we'll give it back to the weather service. Well we shut down there's a few big fires, one uh, down by Jordan, Montana, one north of Wolf Point, one over west of here as well. It's not worth it. We don't want to uh, cause a fire and you know where they're going to stop it with 30 mile an hour winds and 
40 mile an hour gust. Not supposed to go down for a little while. We might just call her a day at home. Do it again tomorrow. All right, ready to cut this morning. Everything's serviced. Uh, get my GPS going. Turn it on the monitor as well as we're good to go. Combine, feeder house and header, full throttle. Header down, return to cut height, and we go. Auto steer, engage. Take a little nap till I get to the other end. No, not really, but but maybe sometimes. Well, now the other drive shaft broke down on the header adapter, so let's go fix that. Well, they're putting that back together. Gonna soak down where we welded there, the fire truck. I'm gonna go combine again. That is one beautiful sunset. Fire sure make it looking pretty out there, but I don't really like having the fires. But thank all your firefighters out there. They've been hard at work. God bless them. Well, we got moved over onto our last field of canola here. It's a little one. It's a little thousand acre field of canola. It's kidding, it's our biggest field at least. Whatever, this is actually rental ground. We'll be here a little while. Today is Friday. Saturday's a high of 91. Sunday night, Monday morning, a low of 30 with a chance of snow. Guess we'll see what happens by then. Chance of rain on Sunday, chance of snow on Monday. And then back in the 80s, so it's like a little winter teaser on its way. Crazy. Yeah, it's that exciting. Going home. trucks down in the bins here we are gonna set up uh, the grain bagger to start bagging canola in the morning so thanks for watching guys we'll uh, catch you in the next video no you'll catch me in the next video